Murder. Unintentional. A passionate array of anger-fueled actions intensifying with each passing second. Ultimately ending in one big mistake. Tilapia. Prepared in olive oil with a freshly chopped onion and spinach garnish. With a hint of... garlic. The suspect. A 29-year-old Latin American male, for obvious reasons. Approximately 5'7", with an eight and a half foot shoe size. Irritable, at best. The cause of the dispute? Dishes. Unwashed. Six days, to be exact. Enough to ignite the fury of one wishing to prepare their next meal. How... inconvenient. The guilty party unknowingly arrives home to his grave. Acts of unbridled anger. A chair, broken, where the victim was thrown. A cabinet, left open. Improvisational weapon. The rug, four inches out of place. An obvious sight of scuffling. The blanket, lying on the floor, obviously misplaced during the encounter. The position of the body, lifeless, unnatural. The state of that face, ugh. Only could have come as a sweet embrace of death after having the life relentlessly strangled from him. The sum of these facts, elementary. Only one piece missing, the murderer. The heat of the stove, the coat closet fully stocked. The keys to a car far more expensive than the corpse could have owned, judging by his apparel, lay on the counter. Only one conclusion to be made. He's still here. What are you doing in my house? Who are you? Serve counterclockwise, two sugars, skim milk, please. Whole milk makes me a little gassy. Okay. <laughs> uh, and your name, please? Uh, Shonok. Shonok what? Shonok Holmes. So, not Holmes? No, no. My, my name is Shonok. <laughs> Thank you. Why do I even... <clears throat> Excuse me, do you mind if I... Uh... Uh oh, no. no, no. <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> Let me guess. You're not from around here, are you? Uh, actually, I live from... 26 years old, you come from a large Italian family, and you work as a blacksmith you have for many years. Uh, now, uh, let, let me finish. Left-handed, you have three dogs, two of which are poodles, um, Rocco and Chi-Chi. Or is it Bessie? I, uh, actually, I have a dog allergy, and I live but not but two kilometers away. I have for 23 years. My parents live there, too. And I teach at a local yoga studio. And right handed. Ah, uh, um, I see you. <laughs> and you're a detective? Remarkable. That I am. Very good observation, sir. <clears throat> well, uh, what's your name? Uh, Sherlock Holmes. Well, if it's Sherlock Holmes, then what exactly is it? Sure not. Sure not what? Uh, no, sure, sure not Holmes. That's my name. I don't see why everyone keeps having trouble with it. Well, I'm John. John, uh, John Notson. John Notson. Splendid to meet you. Y yes, you too. You know, I, I have this case that I've been working on for some time now. There's been reported acts of vandalism at the local lounge. 
Do you think maybe you would like to tag along? A case? Um, I suppose that's okay. Splendid! I believe it was. Done it again. You see how evil this man is. I can't. So, you're telling me this vandal just purposefully flips tables over? Precisely, Mr. Knotts, and it's our job to bring the perpetrator to justice. But why would he do something like this? Well, some, some men have no sense of right and wrong. They just do things. And they do things that make them happy. For this man, it's flipping the tables over. I mean, he does it, like, all the time. Treacherous. Indeed. Now, I have been coming here for days trying to find the man responsible for this crime. And I have deduced that, that he's probably a large man, 6'5", burly, uh, able to move the tables around, but uh, I have been found wanting. Now, any encounter with this man would be Shut far up. from pleasant, and... and there was just some Shut way to... Up. Sort of a beautiful friendship. I guess so. Oh. Oh.